memory is not a video camera, it's a reconstruction based on what we know today and not on what happened at some time in the past. So in that sense, it's fair to say that every time we remember something, we bring some of our own interpretation, some of our own context to bear. And this becomes especially difficult in the modern era because we don't just have the initial experience, but we have cameras and photographs and videos. And when we remember something, it's very difficult to know, do we remember the thing as it actually happened or in terms of the many media um, reconstructions of that event. Nonetheless, people do differ in how accurate their memories are. Um, some people are closer to being a photograph when other people are completely dependent upon media and upon linguistic encodings of what, of what happened. The only way that we can really test this would be to give somebody an experience and then not allow him or her to ever talk to anybody about it or to look at any kind of a recording and then see how well they could uh, construct it. And some people are, are, are very good. I think that there are two terminologies from psychology that are helpful. One is eidetic imagery. There's a very small percentage of the population, maybe 1% or fewer, that actually can remember things in a photographic way. Um, the other word is gist. Gist means getting the essence of something. And people are pretty good at remembering the essence of something. So let's say you have an argument with a friend. You may not remember anything that you and the friend said, but you might remember pretty well how you felt and who got the upper hand and, and things like that. So the more we study memory, the more we understand how much of it is constructed and reconstructed over and over again. Uh, I know you have a question about uh, my first memories. I don't have a very vivid memory of my own childhood, but I'm sure that anything I remember has been worked on and remolded and refashioned many, many times. Um, I do remember with one of my children that when he was about two years of age, um, we went to Hawaii and we saw people jumping from a very, very high cliff into the water, maybe 30, 40 feet. And nobody ever said anything about it. And a few years later, when we were in Australia and there was a similar thing, he actually remembered the earlier one. And that's one of the few ways in which you can really test somebody is if nobody ever contaminated between the initial presentation and the presentation much years later. But when you ask people, where were you when the Twin Towers were attacked on 9-11? Or where were you when Lehman Brothers um, melted down in September of 08? Or where were you when Princess Diana died? People talk about that so often that it's almost impossible to get a pure memory.